Okay, what do we have here, Doug? Oh, uh, wow. Look at that one. You know, what we have is a weedy black cherry that okay. has come in a flower bed that, that normal people would, would pull out <laughs> immediately. And every time I go to do that, I find something that's using it. So this is a tiger swallowtail larva. Um, and that's a fall webworm that's intruding. So you have two but, for um, one here. We have two for one. But these are enormously productive plants that actually the number two on the list. Oaks are mm -hmm. number one, native prunus are, are number two. Uh, and, and I want to show you a lot of other things that are that are happening here. Um, these are all uh, black cherries. Not planted, I take it. You They none came in these, on their own? That's right. None of these are, are, are planted. This used to be a chrysalis of a red spotted purple. The adult has emerged at this point. And those adults fly around and then they lay eggs, typically in the, in the edge of the leaf. That's the little egg right there. Um, those eggs hatch into little first in star larvae. The larvae then eat part of the leaf and they they take their frass, that poop, mm -hmm. and they make what I call a poop stick. <laughs> they spin it together with silk uh, and then they, that's what you're looking at. You're looking at this little the larva here sitting on his poop stick and ants that are the primary predators of these guys will not go out on the poop stick to, to eat them. Oh. So here you have one in uh, the first instar. Here you have one in the second instar. So these are stadiums of, of growth. Uh, you can tell these, these trees have essentially been stripped because so many mm -hmm. things are, are using them. When I went to pull them out this year, there were, there were on all this little grove here, there were eight swallowtails. There were some, some like 12 of these red spotted wow. purples. Uh, and I just don't, I don't have the heart to, to do that. Well, you're sharing with nature. So if you lose one or two, not a big deal, right? One or two of the... <laughs> of the, <laughs> of the uh, black you know, cherry. They, they, they preferentially yes. like these small weedy plants as opposed to the big mature trees. So you think the leaves are tastier to them? They're more palatable, easier to digest? What do you think the reason is? Just not sure. Sometimes uh, there's there's a hypothesis that it's predator-free space, that the predators all go to the big trees, and, and they it, the, the farther away from the big tree you can get, mm -hmm. and the smaller mm -hmm. the plant, the more, more uh, easily it is to escape. What you're looking at here is a hibernaculum. So those little larvae are not going to be able to develop to adults this year. Mm -hmm. So they overwinter as larvae. Okay. And they, what they do is they they silk the petiole of the leaf to the to the main stem here. Uh, and then they build a little silk winter castle. <laughs> so there's a larva in there. He's mm -hmm. hiding in there. Occasionally, if it's a warm day, he might come out and eat on this leaf a little bit. But he's essentially done developing this year. And all these little larvae now will overwinter as, as larvae. Mm-hmm. Uh, so now, if I cut down this <laughs> plant, I've take I've just right. I've just killed this butterfly, and it it makes a challenge for me. So they must have some sort of uh, chemical equivalent equivalent of antifreeze to be able to withstand uh, the winters. How, how does that glycerol. work? Glycerol. They have glycerol in their blood. It's exactly what it is. It's antifreeze. Mm -hmm. Very same compound that is in antifreeze. Uh, and then in the spring, when they when these guys leaf out, they will they will. Uh, come out and start mm -hmm. eating the, the fresh fresh leaves. And that's the first generation of red spotted mm -hmm. purples. So your first choice for um, homeowners in terms of woody plants would be an oak, preferably probably a white oak, right? That's yes. the most productive plant. And then number two would be um, our black cherry, our native black cherry. And that's the second most, regional. most okay. productive. Um, native prunus. So American plum okay. is a native prunus. Uh, pin cherry, any of the native prunus are, are just as productive. Um, you know, I, I talk about black cherries because people often turn their landscapers loose on them, just cut them all out. They're weedy. We hate them. You know, they're the second most plant, productive plant you can have. Surely there's a space in your yard where you can have a few. This is Kim Ironman from Eco Beneficial. Thanks for watching. For more useful gardening tips to improve our environment, please visit us at www.ecobeneficial.com.